is don't eat pancakes. Do you ever get the feeling that your mum and dad aren't listening to a word you say? You do? Then you are just like Daisy. Her mum and dad never listen. Daisy could tell them that their hair was on fire or that the dog had eaten the postman but they would just nod and say that's nice dear or tell your gran or can't you see I'm on the phone so when one day Daisy had something really important to say and guess what nobody listened so this is what happened Daisy was eating her breakfast when a big purple rhino strolled into the kitchen. That's right, a big purple rhino. It was as big as a bus and as purple as a plum. It was also a bit peckish, so it took a chomp of Daisy's pancake and went upstairs. There's a pancake on the floor. Mom, Mom, Daisy called. There's a big... Tell your dad, said mum. He'll catch it in a mug and throw it out of the window. Dad, dad, said Daisy. There's a big, there's a huge, shh, said dad. The spider can wait. It's not a spider, Daisy shouted. It's a big purple rhinoceros. But as usual, nobody listened. Meanwhile, the rhino made himself right at home. Daisy saw him in the hall. I'm putting his skates on. And glimpsed him in the garden. He's trying to hide in the washing. She spied him in the bathroom and surprised him on the loo. <laughs> but every time she tried to tell her parents, they'd say, Shh, Daisy, can't you see we're busy? Daisy's parents were busy all week, so Daisy began to talk to the rhino instead. Soon they became good friends. They played hoopla and made pizza together, and the rhino tickled Daisy until she thought she'd burst. But Daisy's parents didn't notice. Until... The pancakes ran out. <gasps> Who ate all the pancakes? said Daisy's dad, looking straight at Daisy. It was the rhino, she said. Rhinos don't eat pancakes, said dad. This one does, said Daisy. I saw him in the kitchen. A rhino, said mum. In the kitchen, said dad. Yes, said Daisy. Exactly. Mum and Dad roared with laughter. Whatever next, they hooted. A shark in the toilet. A polar bear in the fridge. There he is, look, Daisy yelled. But Mum and Dad were so busy laughing, they didn't even notice. And look, he's got a pancake in his mouth. <laughs> Come on, Rhino, said Daisy. I've had enough of this. The Rhino tickled Daisy with his horn, but she was far too glum to giggle. Mum and Dad never listen, she said. They are always a million miles away. The Rhino sighed deeply through his big purple nostrils. I'm sorry, Rhino, said Daisy. Your family are a million miles away too, aren't they? The rhino nodded and a lilac tear rolled down his cheek. Poor rhino. That night, Daisy sat up thinking of ways to get the rhino back home to his family. He was too heavy for a hot air balloon. And too big for Daisy's rubber dinghy. So she thought about lending him her bike, but the helmet would never fit. He's too big for that bike, isn't he? <clears throat> the 
the next morning, Mum and Dad had a surprise. We're taking you to the zoo, said Mum, so you can see a real rhino. What do you think of that? grinned Dad. Daisy thought it was a stupid idea when there was already a perfectly good rhino sitting on the sofa. But she didn't say so. What was the point? Nobody would listen. At the zoo, Daisy saw yellow giraffes. There they are. Bright red parrots. Orange and black tigers and grass green snakes. But she couldn't help thinking about her poor purple rhino. Hurry up, Daisy, said Mum. The rhinos are this way. But what was this? <gasps> Missing big purple rhino. Who likes pancakes? If found, please call the zoo. <gasps> said Mum. Well, that explains the pancakes, said Dad. Mum, Dad and Daisy rushed back home. And guess what they saw when they got there? Can you guess? Yeah, you're right. The biggest purplest rhinosaurus in town. What did I tell you? Daisy said, grinning from ear to ear. I'm phoning the zoo, said Mum. The rhino looked startled. No, said Daisy. Not the zoo. He needs to get back to his family. They are a million miles away. Well, we'd better get a move on, said Dad. The next flight to a million miles away leaves this afternoon. The rhino packed his suitcase while Daisy found his hat. Then they all pushed his big purple bottom in the back of the car. <laughs> They're not going to get him in that car, are they? And then they drove to the airport. I'll miss you, said Daisy, as the rhino boarded the plane. The rhino gave her a big purple hug. He would miss her too. Back at home, Daisy began to feel really lonely again. Who would listen to her now? But little did she realise that everything was about to change. Tell us about the rhino, Daisy, said Mum. Yes, said Dad. Tell us about that big purple pancake-eating rhino. So Daisy told them about the hoopla and the pizza and the tickles. And guess what? They listened and listened until she had completely run out of words. It was brilliant. Is there anything else you'd like to tell us? Asked Mum as she took Daisy into bed that night. Daisy looked out onto the landing. Oh, no, that's all for now, said Daisy, smiling. Night, night. Oh, who's that hiding? Oh, the pink polar bear would have to wait till tomorrow.